Hello everyone. Welcome to 360 on History. Please check out the website 360onhistory.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at 360 on History and join us on social media. A friend of mine sent me some gorgeous pictures of orange and red sugar maple leaves from the US. And I thought to myself, why not talk about why leaves turn red and orange and yellow and purple in fall or autumn. So here we go. Autumn or fall if you happen to be American arrives in September in the northern hemisphere and in March in the southern hemisphere. No matter where you are, you can expect to see leaves falling off deciduous trees. In areas home to certain species, you can expect to see those leaves go through a gamut of colors, making our autumnal landscape so resplendent. But why do leaves fall and what is the reason we can see the purples, reds, oranges, yellows and browns as trees prepare for the oncoming winter months? Autumn has arrived in the northern hemisphere and in the colder countries we can already see the leaves turning. Let's ponder the questions about this changing of color and eventual leaf fall as we revel in the beauty of this season. So, why do leaves change color? The transformation from the verdant green of spring and summer to the reds, yellows and oranges of winter is due to chemical processes and environmental factors. The green leaves serve as food factories for trees and plants during spring and summer, manufacturing food through photosynthesis. The cell in leaves contain chlorophyll, a chemical that gives them their green color. This chemical absorbs light from the sun, using its energy to transform carbon dioxide and water into sugars and starches. These sugars and starches are food for plants and trees. Here is the interesting bit though. Leaves also have other pigments like carotenes, you know the ones that give carrots the yellow orangey color and xanthophyll among others. However, for most of the year these colors are overshadowed by the large amounts of the green of chlorophyll. So how do leaves go from green to other colors? As autumn arrives, the trees and plants sense the change in the length of daylight and in temperature. Thus begins the process where leaves stop making food via photosynthesis. Because the process is on temporary hold, chlorophyll breaks down and with it goes the leaves green color. The oranges, yellows and browns start making an appearance. At this time, other chemical processes also take place, which together with certain weather conditions may result in the appearance of additional colors through the development of what are known as red anthocyanin pigments. These pigments bring about the reddish and purplish hues of certain trees, such as dogwoods and sumacs. Other mixtures give the sugar maples their orange and red colors and oaks their browns. The reason for the difference in colors is the different amount of leftover chlorophyll mixed in with other pigments. And how does weather affect leaf color? Well, the duration of light, changes in temperature and water availability all affect the degree and duration of leaf color in autumn or fall. When temperature is low, but above freezing, more anthocyanin is formed, producing the purples and bright reds. Dry weather ensures that sugars are concentrated in the leaves, which produces more anthocyanin, making leaves even redder. The appearance of early frost weakens the brilliance of the red color, while rain or overcast days intensify the vibrancy of autumn hues. The best time, of course, is a clear, dry and cool day. Then, some amount of phot photosynthesis may still be going on. This increases sugar con concentration 
and with it anthocyanin production giving us bright red trees the other question to ask is why do leaves fall well with the appearance of fall colors other changes are also occurring within trees and plants the start of leaves dropping off is known as abscission what happens is that a layer of cells is formed between the end of the leaf stalk and the stem you know the area where the leaf stalk joins the stem this layer of cells is known as abscission layer and it forms during spring when there is active new leaf growth but in autumn just like a human teenager the leaf hormones start going through changes one of the most prominent of these hormones is auxin in spring during active growth auxin is produced at the same rate as growth in the rest of the tree or plant so if the auxin production rate and the rate of active growth of the tree are stable the abscission layer remains connected and the re- leaf remains attached to the stem however as days start to shorten in autumn and temperatures start to fall auxin production in the leaves drops off triggering cellular elongation inside the abscission layer now remember this is the layer between the end of the leaf stalk and the stem to which it is attached this elongation creates fractures forcing the leaf to fall away from the tree or plant leaving behind a scar sometimes this process is helped along by wind or a strong breeze so this is the process which makes the leaves fall but why do they fall what are the benefits to the tree falling leaves help trees and plants to not only retain moisture within their branches and trunks but also makes the plant or tree dormant thus requiring less energy to survive during winter without leaves trees are also able to withstand winter storms allowing its extremely strong winds to pass through without any barriers some years we may not see full leaf color because the leaves may have fallen off before the tree reaches its full coloration perhaps due to an early storm or strong winds sometimes even the same species of tree can do different things and so one tree of the species may be bare while another one is full of color most northern climate broad leaf trees shed their leaves in autumn or fall some however like oaks and others may retain their brown leaves until the beginning of the next growing period in spring southern trees have to deal with milder winters and there some broad leaf trees are evergreen conifers such as pines spruces firs hemlocks and cedars among others are evergreen in the north and the south you may have noticed that in the summer of 2022 just this year a drought occurred in the uk the weather was hot and dry and as early as july we could see leaves of certain trees like horse ch- chestnuts turning brown and even falling off due to the unexpectedly hot weather and drought the trees experienced stress and turned brown or shed their leaves to retain moisture within trunks and stems this is what is known as false autumn it is a survival mechanism where trees deal with the stress of unexpected weather events such as droughts by changing leaf color or even shedding leaves altogether with climate change we can expect to see more and more of such events and now you know what happens to leaves in the autumn remember it when you go out to see all the fall colors wherever you are thank you for joining me on 360 on history see you next time